Hi everybody, it's Al, and I uh, wanted to do a quick update on the uh, greenhouse and the aquaponic system. So, uh, good news and bad news. Now, the good news is that the aquaponic system is no longer everything that you see over there has been taken down, and that old greenhouse just got too hot, and and it wasn't very flexible. It was, it was a uh, Harbor Freight greenhouse that I had uh, purchased and erected. And uh, over the years, uh, and I didn't have it really all that long, maybe three, four years, the bottom of it rotted out. It wasn't galvanized steel. So, uh, and it was very hard to modify it. So I decided to do this. In our heat of the summer, um, those uh, greenhouses were uh, for har from Harbor Freight. Uh, just get too dang hot. Let me pan this around real quick, and you'll see that those are the panels that were in it, or the majority of them, and they yellowed with time, but the whole thing was covered top to bottom with those panels, so the light was just too much, and there was no way to keep that place cool enough, so I decided to go ahead and tear it down, which I did, and uh, I started to rebuild it, so you can see there's all the, all this, uh, all the leftovers for the wood. I still gotta uh, build the door, but I got the windows in, and uh, we'll put some little curtains on the inside so we can block the sunlight. I went ahead and used the PVC uh, panels on the top, put three clear panel panels in the middle, as you can see. And uh, even today where it's not too sunny, it's, uh, it's certainly light enough in here. I have my exhaust fan there. I still got to put on the front wall the uh, intake for it. Uh, so she's coming along pretty good. We're gonna have a, we're gonna have a rack in the back to grow fodder for our goats. So that's gonna be an aquaponic fodder fodder system, and then we're gonna have uh, Dutch buckets here to do an ebb and flow system that will expand uh, significantly later. We're gonna start with uh, 24 buckets, and there's gonna be a 55 gallon drum uh, with a timer and a reservoir. And then on this wall over here, it's gonna be a rack of uh, uh, probably three inch uh, sewer and drain pipe, PVC, um, uh, aquaponic system, or not aquaponic system, excuse me. We're gonna uh, go to hydroponics initially to get things started and then we're gonna introduce fish uh, slowly into it. So, uh, the tubes here are gonna uh, really just have a pump circulating constantly through them into a reservoir at the bottom, and that's gonna use thin film uh, nutrients in it. And so, hopefully we'll have all kinds of good vegetables over here, um, like, um, I'm trying to think here, lettuce, uh, several uh, types of lettuces, uh, cabbages, spinach, all those kind of things, and in, in the back it's going to be um, growing uh, uh, oat uh, shoots uh, or uh, germinating uh, oat seeds for fodder for the goats, and then over here in the Dutch bucket it's going to be uh, the broccolis and the peppers and the tomatoes and all those kind of things. Uh, and if we need to, then we'll create a second level. So that's why I went to the buckets, because uh, the Dutch buckets are smaller. I can let things grow and then continue from there. I still, uh, the way that I made those windows are with acrylic uh, plexiglass that it's uh, a company called Optics. Uh, you can probably see it right here. And uh, it's guaranteed not to yellow. So there's uh, UV stabilized. And uh, if I need more light later on, I can certainly add light back here and uh, add more light in the middle if I need to, but I have a feeling that I won't need any more light. It's pretty light as it is. And we're going to supplement it with uh, fluorescent lights that I'm gonna put in there. Uh, so we're gonna have uh, light 16 hours a day, uh, built with timers. And so I think that's gonna be the ticket to get this greenhouse fully functioning again. And I think, uh, it came out pretty good. I started uh, last weekend, and uh, I had a friend come over and uh, help me, and we worked uh, two full days and four half days, and pretty much got it knocked out. So she's uh, already sealed, 
and um, there's not much to do I just got to do the electric this week paint it uh, seal it you know with paint put a primer coat in it a sealant coat then the paint and then uh, the, those are cedar strips on the outside I'm gonna paint those dark brown and then maybe the walls would be the same kind of beige or you know cream color as the shed is and so that's uh, that's our plan so anyways Thanks for watching everybody, God bless and take care and I'll keep you posted on uh, how we uh, get everything going. I already already ordered the system for the Dutch buckets and uh, hopefully uh, before the end of the month I will build the, uh, the PVC pipes and that whole system as well as the footer system. I think we're going to do the footer system first, then the Dutch buckets and then the PVC tubing. So uh thanks everybody for watching god bless take care